Vacuum is a shop proven work holding solution, but we're human and we make mistakes and sometimes our setups can become a game of trial and error. Well, that's why we developed the VacWatch vacuum monitoring device. It measures the vacuum level a thousand times per second and immediately stops the machine should your vacuum level fall below a preset level. This provides safety and peace of mind if there's an unexpected loss of vacuum. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of exactly how the vac watch works. Let's get started. Now, starting with the device itself, we've created a shop-worthy, rugged enclosure that is designed to magnetically attach next to the control on your machining center. This front side has two buttons and an array of LEDs that represent the vacuum level. The back side has a reference decal that tells you exactly what these LEDs mean. Now we have one already hooked up to the machine, so let me give you an overview of how it works. So walking up to the device, I see that all the lights are breathing red. This tells me that the unit is disabled and we enable it by pressing both buttons for one second and you'll see that the far right LED is breathing red. This tells us that it's enabled, but no vacuum is being pulled. To toggle it back to disable monitoring, just hold down both buttons for one second and you'll see that all the LEDs go back to breathing red. Now, you'd want to disable the vac watch if you're using a vice or one of our pallet systems that doesn't require vacuum. If you don't disable it, the machine will alarm out when you hit cycle start. Now, before I go any further, let me mention that vacuum is measured in inches of mercury, which ranges from zero to 29.9. But we've simplified the vac watch design and are only interested in knowing the exact vacuum level when it falls between five and 26 inches of mercury. And I'll explain why in a minute. But for now, we're working on a vacuum setup, so I'm gonna push either button to enable the vac watch and load my workpiece. So I loaded my part and turned on the vacuum power unit. And when I came back to the vac watch, I noticed that all the LEDs have turned white and the far left LED is flashing. Earlier, I mentioned that we only care about the exact level if it falls between five and 26. We consider anything over 25 inches of mercury as a safe operating level. On the other end of the scale, anything under five inches of mercury translates to only a couple of pounds per square inch of holding force so no reliable application should operate under this level. This tells us that not only do we have good vacuum, but the flashing light says that we are exceeding 26 inches of mercury, which is beyond safe. The next step we need to do is to set our threshold using the two buttons. Let's take a closer look. If you look at the scale, it is graduated in increments of three. Now out of the box, the threshold is set to five inches of mercury. When I press the left button, it increments up. The next LED turns a pale red and we've incremented to six. Press it again, the LEDs change and the level bumps up to seven. So following this pattern, you can easily count in your head eight, nine, 10, 11, and so on. Just know that a single white LED indicates the number below it. I'm gonna run this all the way up to 25 inches of mercury. After a few seconds, it goes back to showing the current vacuum level, which of course is still greater than 26 inches of mercury. Now our vacuum power unit pulls 28 inches of mercury, so why would you wanna set a threshold any lower? Well, if you're using a third-party pump or if you're in the woodworking industry, you may not reach a vacuum level close to our vacuum power unit. So you would wanna set your threshold about two to three inches of mercury lower than the maximum that is displayed. This also works great with robots and automation where a higher vacuum level for pick and place isn't necessarily required. But for machining, I like to set ours to 25 as I mentioned. Now that everything is set, we can confidently press cycle start knowing that the vac watch will send a signal to stop the machine 
within a thousandth of a second should the vacuum level fall below the threshold. We've hooked up this vac watch to our Haas machine, but look in the description below or on our website for more videos on how to hook it up to your specific brand or automation solution. If you don't see your brand listed, contact us and we'll walk you through it. So until next time, go innovate your production.